Hello friends and welcome back to our Fast API tutorial. Uh, in this video we are going to briefly touch on uh, a basic introduction to dependencies in Fast API. You can see here we've got our app up and running. Um, now let's go ahead, so very quickly, uh, dependencies in Fast API, um, they're a little a little weird. So it's, you can almost think of them like middleware, but they're not like middleware. What they do is it takes um, uh, functionality that you need to abstract out of a path operation and put it into the path operation. Now, this, this could have to do with security. It could have to do with um, if there are multiple routes that have shared logic. It could have to do if you want to set up database connections, you know, things like that. Okay, so I think it'll, it'll probably be best to just see a very quick introduction to just see how it works. So what we're going to do, we're going to declare a get route items. And we're going to say async def read items. Um, and we're going to say, we're going to set have a query parameter. And so what we're doing right here is we're passing in a query string and then we're passing in pagination parameters um, like skip and limit. Okay. And then we will just return um, Q is going to be Q, skip is going to be skip and limit is limit. Okay. So we're reading the items. This is, you know, very typical functionality when um, you have a, a list of items or a list of anything, really. You want to have pagination. You want to have, you might want to have search and sort functionality, things like that. You can see here, we, hello, we get our results back. Okay. What happens though, if we want to add in this same functionality for users? async def read users. So I'm going to copy all of this. Now, this is this is not good, right? Like we don't we don't want to have to copy this sort of functionality. Um, you know, you want to keep your code dry, you want to be able to abstract out as much as you can. Um, so what we can do is we can actually take this and we can create a separate kind of like a helper function, async def common parameters. And you can, it, it can be async, it can be regular um, synchronous. It doesn't, for this specific thing, it doesn't really matter. I'll touch on that in a minute. So now what we're gonna do, let's take all of this and put it up here. Okay. Now what we're gonna have to do <clears throat> we're going to have to say, we'll say commons is going to be a dictionary because this returns a dictionary. And we're going to say it depends on common parameters. Okay, and we will return commons. So we're going to do the same thing down here. Now you'll notice we have to import depends. So let's go up here um, from fast API import depends restructure. There we go. Okay. Now what this is doing is this is going to take our common parameters that are up here. Fast API will recognize that we need to add that these are query parameters. So this is what's really cool about this. We can use dependency injection to get the same functionality. You see, it's the exact same thing it was before. We hit execute and we get hello, skip is zero, limit is 100. So we get the exact same functionality we got before, but we were able to abstract the, the, the point of kind of grabbing this sort of stuff out of the, the two individual methods and create one, one common method that actually holds all this information. Okay, um, that's kind of it for now. Um, this is a very, very basic intro. 
notice what it does we had in this situation we had common functionality that we wanted to share across um, across two methods so now we can we can just you can see what I what I mean where it's it's almost like middleware it's kind of like class inheritance if you will you have a base class and the the derived classes inherit um, from the base class if you want to think about it like that um, but that's that's generally uh, how it goes um, like I said, you can declare these as async functions or regular functions. Um, that doesn't really matter. Um, Fast API will be able to figure out how to handle it. That's one of the nice things about Fast API. Um, and the only real other thing to to that that is worth bringing up at this stage is just discussing um, the flexibility of these things. So you can see here we're we're abstracting this functionality out from these two common methods right here putting it into common parameters, but you can actually nest like common parameters can, let's say, blah, string equals depends, um, async def, hello, return world. We can say it depends on hello. So we were able to set up a dependent, we were able to do a dependency injection with this hello method. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass in blah here. So we go ahead and hit execute. And you notice we get hello and world. So you, you'll see when we get into some of the next videos just how how beneficial this can be. But you can, you can like I said, you can nest dependencies, you can, you know, it allows you to share a lot of functionality over, um, over different methods and stuff like that. So we're gonna get into it in the next videos. Don't worry about it. I wanna keep this relatively short because this is just kind of a weird concept if you've not seen it before. Uh, okay, I'll see you in the next video.